Hi, my name is Ajoli Simpini, and the program I created is for tennis players. It's basically just to help them enhance their movements. I'm basically focusing more on core stability and just stability overall in all their movements so they're able to hit with enough force in their rackets. Um, some components that we'll be focusing on are core, upper body, lower body, and flexibility. So, come on. For starters, we have butterfly sit-ups. Butterfly sit-ups are a good flexing exercise in the sagittal plane. It targets the rectus abdominis by mainly flexing the trunk. The regression for the butterfly sit-ups are butterfly sit-ups with a twist. The twist actually changes the plane of motion from sagittal to transverse. This would actually require more stability. Our regression for the butterfly sit-ups are just regular sit-ups. You're, you're still targeting the rectus abdominis and you're still flexing at the trunk. It's just an easier way of doing sit-ups. For this core exercise, we have hollow holds. With hollow holds, you're flexing at the hips and you're extending at the legs. You're trying to engage your core and squeezing your glutes and trying not to drop your legs. A regression of this exercise would be just bringing your arms to the side or in, um, underneath your glutes. Some people will call it six inches and this will just basically help you maintain more so you, don't, you have something else to lean on to help you be able to keep your legs up. For the upper body vertical push movement, we actually have a single arm press. The first single arm press is in the frontal plane of motion. The muscles targeted with this exercise is your deltoids, your trapezius, your supraspinatus of your rotator cuff. You're extending at the shoulder when you're going up and flexing at, at the arms when you're coming back down. A progression for this exercise is a single leg, single arm press. When performing this exercise, you're engaging more muscles because you are standing on only one leg. So it makes it harder for you to keep balance and for you to be stabilized. Also, when doing this exercise, you have to make sure that your, the leg that you're balancing on is extended and your feet is in the plantar flexion. A regression for this exercise would be a seated arm press. When you're doing a seated arm press, you're sitting down, so you're removing all the pressure from your legs. The only thing you have to worry about is stabling your up, stabilizing your upper body and just focusing on the press movements. For upper body horizontal pull, I have the Laskin pull-up. The Laskin pull-up is performed in a horizontal plane of motion. In this exercise, you're working your latissimus dorsi, your teres major and minor, and your infraspinatus. A progression for this exercise is bringing your feet further under the bar, giving it a challenge in changing angles. This will then make it harder for you to pull up while your feet is in the dorsi flex position. A regression for this exercise is bringing your legs closer to your body so that it makes it easier for you to pull up. For a lower body hip dominant bilateral movement, I have a kettlebell deadlift. The kettlebell deadlift is performed in the sagittal plane of motion. This deadlift targets the glutes, hamstrings, back extensors, shoulders, and pectoralis. This exercise helps with hip hinging that tennis players will need in order to exert full body, full power to the racket.
A progression of this exercise will be having two kettlebells. This would make it harder because you have to make sure that you lift up both kettlebells equally and they're both even so that one side doesn't get more, more effort than the other side. A regression of this exercise would be good mornings with the bar. This way you're just focusing on the hip hinging movement without pulling any weight. This unilateral knee dominant exercise is step ups with dumbbells. In this exercise, you are targeting the quadriceps, hamstrings, gastric nemius, and soleus. There's a lot of extension going on in the knee, hip, and the ankle. A progression of this exercise would be step up with high knees. When you're doing step up with high knees, the you have to make sure that one leg is plantar flex while the other leg that's going up is in dorsiflex position. A regression of this exercise will be just regular step ups without any dumbbells. In this exercise, you want to focus more on engaging your core and your balance and make sure that you're actually getting the movements right.